Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a very bronzy makeup look. This is what I came up with. I used the new Makeup by Mario collection. He just launched this whole brand. I think you can get it at Sephora. I go very in depth with the look and walk you through every step, step by step and tell you exactly why I do each step. So I hope it's helpful. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and let's get started. So today I'm actually gonna start with my eyes. I usually prefer to do my face makeup first just because, I don't know, I feel like I do my makeup a lot quicker that way. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but I thought I'd switch it up today and put the majority of the focus on my eyes. I'm gonna be using the new Makeup by Mario makeup. I got invited to a Zoom call with Makeup by Mario and a bunch of other influencers and people in the makeup industry. And it was just really cool to hear like a lot of the backstory behind his brand and and his thoughts on each product. So I'm gonna be sharing some of that with you. He was very humble. He got like emotional talking about his brand and it was just really sweet and um, I'm just very excited for him. So if you guys don't know who Makeup by Mario is, I feel like he's very well known as Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, but he does a bunch of celebrities. His work is just really, really stunning. I like that he also shared like some tidbits here and there about like his personal techniques and stuff like that. I'm first gonna start off with priming and this was something I was super excited to try. These are little priming and setting little trios. So this is the medium one. There's also a light and then the deep one here. And he said that these aren't meant to match your skin tone. They're supposed to be either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker depending on what you are doing with your eyeshadow. So I mean, I feel like I should use the medium. I tried the light before and it was actually like really, really bright. So I don't know. He did also come out with brushes. So I'll be using those today as well. I'm gonna start with this one this is the ef1 it's just a dual ended brush and then this is the other side so i'm gonna grab this side and pick up the medium duo and this is a setting powder on the bottom so i'm gonna use that today to prime my eyes and just start laying it on the eyelid he even said that he uses his primer to map out the look i thought that was very cool maybe he meant the same thing as like priming the whole area where you're gonna put the eyeshadow i think i'm actually gonna bring this underneath too since i am doing the eyes first normally my concealer acts as a base for underneath but i'm gonna try using this for under here and doing my whole look before going in with face makeup so this will be actually something i haven't done before so i'm gonna bring this here and now I'm gonna take the other side and go into the powder and just set all of that. I feel like this is very similar to the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. You guys know that is my favorite primer. So they're primed, they're set with powder, they are ready for eyeshadow. He came out with two different eyeshadow palettes. I will be using both today. Then he also came out with like this chrome palette. So I'm gonna show you that first actually because that I won't be using today. This is the Master Metals eyeshadow palette. He came out with like this like mixing medium and spatula so you kind of like take a little bit of the product out sort of like I did here before and then you mix the mixing medium stuff with it and create like this super duper metallic metal you can also mix these colors together and stuff this is something I probably won't really use that often so I just thought I would show you really quick this is the master mattes palette which I I mean you already know I love this is like right up my alley but it was very interesting hearing how he came up with this palette and the next one. This is the Master Metallics. Looks like this. Just a bunch of beautiful metallic eyeshadows. He first explained the matte palette and he said he just did a bunch of research on different skin tones. So every single color you see here is basically a reflection of a skin tone color. He did the exact same thing for the metallics palette, but this is what the inside of our bodies look like is basically what he explained. I thought this was so cool, so sciencey, and I loved it. I like that he actually like researched this stuff. Both of these are gonna be way more complimentary on your skin tone because it really is like an actual reflection of your skin and your body and what is shown. Even though I'm sure all of these colors have been on the market, having them all in one place and that research put behind a product just really impressed me. I'm gonna go in with the mattes palette. First, I'm gonna be doing a bronzy eye. The colors are like matte one, two, three, four. I like the names, it's just very simple. I am gonna be using the EF2 brush, which is like the perfect size 
shape feel for a blending brush. I'm first gonna go into matte four, this shade here. Use this as the base shade and put this in the crease. Again, starting light and working up to dark, then bringing that underneath. I'm holding about halfway down on the brush, by the way. I'm not too close up on the ferrule because that will apply a lot of pressure. And I just wanna lightly apply this eyeshadow and build up the color with layers rather than putting on too much at once. Anytime you want a lighter touch with your eyeshadow, just pull back on your brush. So you, if you really want an extra light, you can hold back here and apply it. But I just feel like you also kind of lose control as well. So I kind of like holding right in between right here and applying the eyeshadow. I also, with colors like this, kind of like to connect it into the nose contour, usually mainly when it is more of a cooler toned. And then bring this underneath. And anytime I work on the lower lash line, I just look upwards. Sometimes like if I have a mirror, like I'll bring the mirror up and look up into it. Especially with this first initial color, it can be pretty messy and I don't mind. So I'm just looking up and wiggling my brush around. So now I'm gonna go into matte seven. This shade here, it's kind of like a more chocolatey, like a light chocolate. It reminds me of Swiss chocolate from MAC. I'm gonna use the same brush. Just on the tip of it, I'm not really digging it in. And I'm gonna start kind of doing little circles here on the outer corner, building up the color. I'm going back into that first shade and just kind of blending out the edge of this. So I'm just kind of creating the shape, bringing a lot of the deeper color in this region, but also like blending it out and poofing it out to the rest of the look. And using that first shade to really blend it out and bring it in a more broad area. So I'm actually bringing it like almost into my temples. But when I do that, I make sure there's not a ton of product on my brush. Next, I'm gonna go into the E3 brush. This is flatter on one side and fluffier on the other. I'm I'm now gonna go into the matte eight shade. Just kind of pack it on both sides of the brush and start just patting it on the outer lid. Grabbing more and adding to it. I'm gonna wiggle it to blend. Then go back in with the other brush. Mix the previous two shades together. Put it right there in the crease and start blending out that shade. And you can see I've moved a little bit closer up to the ferrule because I do want more precision with this. And I also want more pigment with it. I'm actually gonna go into the E5 brush, which is like a really teeny tiny flat brush. And I'm going to go into these three bottom shades, the matte nine, 10, and 11. I don't actually like putting black into my makeup looks. It's very rare that I do, but I'm gonna actually first start by mixing these two together and packing it on the outer lid and then taking that E3 brush and blending the lid part, kind of pushing it inwards this way. I'm actually not gonna take that darker brown. Um, I'm gonna leave it at the smokiness that it is, but I'm just gonna go back into the EF2, mix that second shade in and just kind of work on blending out the edges. I'm now gonna take the E4 brush. It's a flat, dense brush. And I'm gonna take the lightest shade, matte one. Pop it up here on the brow bone. Go in with whatever's left over on that biggest brush and blend out this edge. So now we can go into the metallics palette and I'm going to take this top shade here, this is the Metallics number three. It's kind of like the perfect dark bronze. I'm also gonna mix this one in with it. I'm gonna use that same brush I was just using, the EO4, and you can use this with your finger, you can use it with a brush, you can use it with a brush and wet it, you can use it dry. He said you can use it however you want. So I'm first gonna start with it dry and I'm gonna make sure I don't have any of that matte shadow on. The brush, I'm gonna wiggle it in here, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna start just pushing this on the lid. That went on a little bit more sheer. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray just to make it a little bit more intense. And let me tell you, I have been looking for a color like this for a while. I know it seems like a simple, just like bronzy color, but I have always been on the hunt for like a nice chocolate bronze. And I feel like this is what that is. I'm gonna go in with that second fluffy brush, the E3. I'm gonna go into that second shade and just wiggle this right at the crease here to blend that edge. And see, it's so easy to blend. And then on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna pick up this shade down here, spray that with some spray, and just pop this in the center. So that's gonna make the center of the eye really pop. It won't even look like you've got like two different colors on. It'll just make your eye look really big. 
I'm bringing that up and I'm actually meeting it in the crease there and then just gonna blend that out. For the bottom lash line, I'm now gonna go into this shade here on the E3. I'm gonna bring my mirror up and look up and just wiggle this right at the lash line and really connect it into the look that kind of carried down. I'm gonna take the E5 brush, which is the tiniest, flattest brush. I'm gonna go into the Metallics palette and take the Metallic 5 shade, pop that in the inner corner. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that and pop it up on the brow bone, kind of just messily and then go back in with the matte shades over top just because i don't want the brow bone to be actually metallic i just want it to be a little shimmery so he did come out with some eyeliners so he came out with the liquid liner i won't be using this today but i will try this in an upcoming video because i'm curious i feel like everyone's coming out with more like liquid liners like this but then he came out with two just regular pencil liners this is the black one and then it comes with like this little brush on the bottom i am going to take a little bit Bit of the brown one and just put this on the outer upper lid lash line area just kind of made it a little bit smokier they are very creamy and like emollient feeling the thing that i'm the most excited about in this whole collection is this nude liner you guys know i'm obsessed with my Rimmel nude liner, but there are pros and cons around nude liners. And in the Zoom call, he went over so many details about this liner and it made me so happy because I feel like people don't really talk about nude liners like in detail. I I'm just so excited for it. So this is called Master Matte Brightening Pencil Light One. Because it's called Light One, I wonder if he will have more shades or if there are more shades out. I am gonna put this in my waterline. I might switch it out because I love this other eyeliner that I kind of want to do with this look, but we'll see. I just want to see what this looks like in the waterline because I was the most excited for it. Oh yeah, that's good. I can tell you right now, this is definitely gonna be my new go-to nude liner. I love it. I will finish the eyes completely with lashes and mascara at the very end. I am gonna move on to my face makeup now. I'm gonna use the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer today. This is a very hydrating primer. Feels very nice on the skin. It feels like a skincare product. I am going to be mixing the Dior Forever Foundation with the Rare Beauty Foundation. I'm in the shade 1.5. 0.5 N in this one and the 210 N in rare and I don't dot this on my face because it can dry and oxidize and you'll have the polka dots underneath or it'll be hard to blend out so what I like to do is pick it up on my brush and work it into the bristles and then blend it in on my skin. And to me, I feel like it just looks the most natural that way. That's how when I was doing makeup, I was taught to apply it. Whatever's left over, I'm gonna bring this on the side of my nose and lightly kind of bring it up in that area. I'm going to use the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC and I'm actually gonna be mixing this in. Um, this is the NW20, I'm mixing in the NC25, making a little concoction and mixing it together. And my favorite brush is the FO3 from Sigma to blend this out. I'm coming up on the side of the nose here so I can get like in that inner corner area, really blending out the bottom edge here. I'm gonna start haloing this around the bottom part of the eye. I'm gonna set that into place. I'm gonna use the Light Sweep Powder from MAC. I might mix in a little bit of Emphasize. I'm gonna use a Sigma. F35 brush with my um, EF2 brush from Makeup by Mario. Whatever's left over on this, I'm just going to halo under here to really blend that. Bring it back over here just so it looks like very diffused. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light bronzer and apply it with the double-ended hourglass brush just to give a little bit of warmth to my skin. I am going to go in and contour with the Bone Beige contour powder or sculpting powder from MAC. I'm going to be using a Smith 112 brush. This is the perfect color for contouring. I love it. It's so different. It's like beigey rose almost. It works so good on my skin tone. Mario did come out with these, they're called Master Crystal Reflectors. Technically it's like a highlighter. He said you can put this on your eyes, your cheekbones, your body. When you apply it with your finger, it'll go on kind of like sheer, just like speckles of like sparkle. So this is quartz, which is kind of like a bright whitey silver color. Then there is citrine, which is this like 
more yellowy shade. And then my favorite one actually came broken, so I'm gonna be very careful. This is in bronze light. I feel like I wanna put that on my eyes. Actually, let me try that. Put a little on my finger and just kind of tap it. Mm-hmm. It just adds a little bit of sparkle that just like really intensified it. He also has this like skin gloss, and this is how I would use it, is mainly like when I'm not wearing makeup, but I just kind of wanna look a little, you know. But this is the, it's called Expensive. It's the Master Secret Glow Highlighter. So it's just kind of like a jelly sort of formula. I don't wanna put that on today just because I'm not really going for that today. I'd like to just do a powder highlighter. And I believe he said you can put this over powders. For my highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This highlighter is like my favorite on my skin tone. It's just very like, got like a gold undertone, but not too yellow of a gold. It's just really pretty and the finish is very natural looking. I'm gonna use an F35 brush and just apply this on my cheekbones. I like doing my highlighter before my blush just because I feel like it peeks out behind it then and looks really natural. Very lightly on the nose and the cupid's bow. I'm going to mix peaches and gingerly together on the Tom Ford blush brush. On the forehead, nose. All right, I'm gonna go into my Fenty mascara and just apply mascara on my eyeballs. I just applied these lashes from Makeup Geek. They're in the style Graceful. I don't know if these are still for sale, but I wore them yesterday and I just loved the way they looked. They're just so like spiky and flirty, but wispy. The only thing about them that I don't really love is that the band is pretty thick. Usually when bands are really thick, they're difficult to apply and these are not. I am gonna go in with that liquid liner though and just kind of blend where the liner band ends into the inner corner just a little bit, just so I don't have like a harsh starting point. So I'm just gonna grab the liner pen from Makeup by Mario, just a little tiny line, like barely anything at all, just so it kind of fades. I did use that Fenty mascara on the bottom, but I just like way more mascara than that. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and just make them a little bit more apparent. For my lips, gonna do a neutral color. I'm gonna go into the Nude One Lip Pencil from KKW Beauty. So I'm gonna go into the Patrick Ta Oshi Single Lipstick, but I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. That is the final look. I love this. I feel like this honestly could even be bridal. Like I feel like it's a little dramatic for a bridal makeup look, but if you wanted something more dramatic, I think this would be so pretty. This works for any time of the year. I think this looks good on every single person out there. And especially if you have blue eyes, anything bronzy or orangey is going to make the blue pop. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed following along and I hope that my tips and tricks were helpful. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know your requests down below in the comments. Please subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye.